Hi, welcome back to my life. Today we are gonna be doing my everyday makeup for glasses. To be honest, this is like a once a week makeup routine. I don't wear makeup during the week because I'm working, but I put this look on to look special on the weekends. This video is also sponsored by glassesusa.com. I always love getting glasses from their website. They have the largest selection of glasses. The newest ones I did get, I got this tortoiseshell pair. It's a little darker, a little hipster-esque. I used to be obsessed with tortoise. I still am obsessed with tortoiseshell. I also got a pair of Ray-Bans. I got these with a prescription this time so I can actually see. I feel like I need to up my sunglasses game because I always stick with like the most basic pair of sunglasses. And this is the one that I wear the most out of my glassesusa.com glasses. I love these. These are just a clear frame with gold rim. The good thing about this one is it looks like I am not wearing glasses when I do wear these. So a good alternative to contact lenses. All of my glasses I've always gone with blue light filtering because I work in front of a computer all day. I think even with blue light filtering everything is super affordable on glassesusa.com which makes sense because their mission is to cut that middleman out of the process of manufacturing and sending these glasses to the consumer, which basically means that their glasses are up to 70% off of retail prices. On top of their in-house brands, they also have a ton of designer brands like Gucci or Armani or Ray-Ban if you're into that. But again, their price point is super low, so it's $30 with prescription insane and they also carry any sort of type of lens that you may need like bifocal single vision progressive they also have blue light filtering prescription in the sunglasses also they do have risk-free shopping which is free shipping and free returns so if you do want to return it within 14 days you have a hundred percent money back guarantee and also a 365 day warranty if anything happens to your glasses so yeah i definitely recommend you guys to check out glassesusa.com if you're looking for glasses they also have this really cool virtual try on feature if you are hesitant about a pair of glasses or want to see how it looks on your face before you get it again thank you glassesusa.com for sponsoring today's video and let us begin with the makeup look okay fam once i move out there's not gonna be any sounds of asian household in the background so let us relish it while we can i'm gonna be honest with you guys i actually don't do anything significantly different with my makeup when i do wear glasses which is like 99 percent of the time i saw a few videos of people explaining like the proportions on your face and like the space between your eyes and the glasses and i'm like mm, should i be thinking about all this the first thing i do always is bb cream off the bat you can already see like the imprints of glasses on me. I've never been a heavy foundation girl so I just do BB cream. In terms of my skin type I do have combination skin so my skin does get oily and it also gets oily underneath the nose pad for my glasses. So I do try to get a shade of BB cream that is pretty close to my skin so I can apply less or even like avoid this nose pad area so right here i will say whenever i don't have my glasses on i feel so naked like i always go in and try to like push it up and there's nothing there it's weird <laughs> and so next is the eye makeup let me tell you i used to wear a pair of glasses where the frame would sit so low on my face because my nose bridge is low this is not scientific at all but a lot of glasses without nose pads do sit pretty low on my face so there's a ton of real estate in the space within the frame that goes unaccounted for and so when I do my eye makeup I like to add some shadow underneath my eye and then more recently in quarantine I've developed this appreciation for blush and freckles so we're gonna do that but by no means do you need to do that if you're wearing glasses I'll just take a shade of brown so I have a lot of browns here I feel like this is a good brown I sometimes leave a little bit of space here so I can put some highlight. All these steps are kind of optional. You also don't need eyeshadow. When I first started doing makeup in college, I literally just did eyeliner every single day and that was my routine for two years. And usually I'm a two shade kind of gal, so I will take a darker shade. I just like to add a second color so it's a little bit darker. And then I like to take the darker shade and get some on like a flat brush and just go underneath my eyes. I look like I have two black eyes right now. But the next thing I do is put the eyeliner on and I think eyeliner always ties everything together. You can see how much space there is in terms of where the eyeliner can go. I never draw my eyeliner super long because I can see where the glasses would cut that shape and if I take any photos, it will just look like 
to lines coming out of my face. Oh my god, I already dotted my eye. If you've seen my eyeliner tutorials, I like to draw my eyeliner a little bit below my line. So wherever this goes over and then dips, I like to start there. And then I don't make it too long and extend it from my halfway point. And then that's kind of the shape we have. And that is the eyeliner. So now the check-in with the eyeliner. So it's looking a little dark now and I like to use the highlight to brighten up my face. So I will just go in with this white crayon. I usually use my finger, but you can use a brush. So now we're pretty much done with the eye look. I'm saying this after the fact, but I kind of know how my glasses sit on my eyes. I will caution against using too much of this eyelid space because this kind of cuts into it. So if you have thick glasses that cover that, probably not worth to decorate that area, but to each their own, not judging. So now we're gonna do some lashes, which I really never do when I don't have to film a video. Those long, luscious Instagram baddie lashes do not work with glasses because, especially with my glasses, I feel like they sit so close to my face that when I do have lashes on, they just hit against my lenses so frequently. So I try to use shorter lashes. The ones that I have been using are these from Daiso. So I'm just gonna put that on. And then for lashes, I like to keep it somewhat close to my lash line, but also at the very end, like lift it up. So I place it right on top of wherever my eyeliner is. I feel like that helps to lift up my eyes a little bit instead of have the lashes slope down at the end. So that's how these lashes look. And oh my God, I forgot to curl my lashes. So if you're not dumb like me, you curl your lashes before you put your falsies on. This looks so weird. <laughs> so now I'm just putting the other lashes on. All right, so we have the eye makeup look. For some reason, it looks really heavy on the camera. I think it's just the lighting isn't in place, but I'll get like a final shot with good lighting so we can see what it looks like. And then the brows are next. As you can see, I barely have any brows. Another something I do subconsciously is if I have a pair of darker glasses on, so maybe like a tortoise shell frame, I will make my brows a little bit darker. But since my glasses are clear framed-ish and gold, I'm gonna go for a lighter brown. It's hard because my brow color is kind of already there. I like to keep my brows relatively straight, kind of mimic the shape of the frames. So you see how it's kind of like that. Again, you can do whatever. I feel like it really doesn't matter. And I also like to keep my brows relatively long. They are kind of short and stubby actually, but I like to extend it so that it doesn't seem too stubby. This probably is the worst tutorial ever on makeup with glasses. All right, so there are my brows. And as I mentioned, we're gonna do some blush. I literally never used blush until a year ago. I used to be like, what's the point of blush? But now I get it. So I'm getting just some like regular pink blush. This is actually a Sephora sample. And if you're like me and you have these like permanent dents from your glasses, you know where to avoid. I just don't put that much product here. I'll just do my cheeks and I'll also hit the tip of my nose. And then the other side. There's a ton of ways that you can do your blush, but this is the way I like because my face is long and the, like an egg. And I think putting blush just straight across shortens your face according to science, the science makeup gods. And another thing is just freckles. I use my eyeshadow and try to mimic these freckles. I really want to try, there's a ton of different freckle products that I want to try or like ways to do freckles. Some people use spray tan, which is really cool. This is like the slowest process, but we're getting there. Why are you here? Someone wanted to say hello. Okay. <laughs> and that is with the freckles. For lips, I like to keep it pretty neutral. I will link all these makeup products below if you're interested. This is one of my favorite lip products because it just is such a nice, perfect nude shade. I like to apply a lot of products and then just like do this because it gives an overlining effect without being too much. So that's the look. I guess you can also contour. For contouring, I just have my glasses on because I don't really need to contour in this region. So I don't know if you can hear, but there's a kid screaming outside. Or he's not screaming, he's just like happy. <laughs> I should have done this before I put the freckles on, but I just forgot. But <laughs> that's how I contour. And just another little thing there. Yeah, I don't know how to contour. 
gonna kind of just go in and buff that out. This kid outside is giving the longest lecture. He should be a college professor. So I actually put these on and I feel like this makeup look goes really well with these glasses because I did it a little dark today. The only thing is my, these are very close to my eyes so I can feel my lashes just getting stuck on my lenses. This is the makeup look just straight on without the glasses. I don't know if, I don't know if this view is much better. Yeah, this is just my everyday makeup look or like every once a week makeup look. And then with the glasses on, glaring the glare with glasses and this pair. And that's the, that's the makeup look. I feel like this makeup look goes with everything, right? So I think I'm gonna stick with this one for now. I haven't had thick tortoiseshell glasses in a really long time. I used to have a pair just like this one. If you've seen my trying all my glasses video, uh, actually very, very similar to this one. Thank you glassesusa.com for sponsoring today's video. If you are interested in any of the glasses that I tried on today and war with my makeup look i will leave all the links down below but yeah that is the video for today i hope you guys enjoyed as always if you guys like my face ooh, if you guys like my face please like and subscribe and if you don't like my face please also like and subscribe and i will catch you guys next time peace